Hello, everybody. Let me just set this up. Russell is here. This is video diary number three on March 22nd, 2020. Uh, at the first quarter of what is this uh, coronavirus quarantine. I'm making a new video today, actually, because I had already made one this morning, but I think I got a little winded there and I made it a 20 minute video, so yeah, a little bit too long there, Tony. Uh, I was talking too much about very random things, as I always do, but I'll try to keep it simple and short today. Uh, we had a pretty good Saturday here. We uh, enjoyed some uh, libations from uh, our brothers in Soviet Russia. No, not Soviet anymore. Uh, we had some vodka yesterday, as it is in the Marino family house. Uh, watched some of that uh, sketch comedy show on Netflix called I Think You Should Leave. Really great. It's basically uh, all the Saturday Night Live uh, sketches that were basically too weird for Saturday Night Live. And I love that stuff. I love that Adult Swim, you know, like Cartoon Network's Adult Swim type comedy. Love it. And that whole show is basically about that. And it has great actors in it, too. It has a, a lot of SNL actors, too. It has a... I can't remember their names. I'm horrible with names when there's a camera behind me. And I'm touching my face. Wait to watch! Damn it. Uh, Will Forte. Will Forte's in it. Steven Yeun uh, from uh, Walking Dead. The guy who got his head bashed in by uh, Negan. Spoiler alert. I think you can't say you spoiled it for me after that happened about three, four years ago. Okay, there's limit to spoiler. Uh, but yeah, it's really funny. Also, new season, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine came out today on Netflix here in Mexico. Pretty happy about that. Check it over there in the U.S. as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what do we have? we had for lunch yesterday what do we have for lunch i should remember this better oh yeah we had some chiles rellenos red chiles rellenos which have a little bit more of a chocolatey almost sweet tone to it because of the type of uh chili you use so we had some chiles rellenos with some uh chickpea soup i think oh no 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 we had a it was kind of like a chickpea soup it was really good i like that and uh, salad. So it was a relatively healthy, all things considered. Outside of the fact that the chile relleno was deep fried and it was filled with cheese. But kind of, sort of healthy. Uh, did some writing yesterday. Got to do some more today. Got a video meeting with my friend and associate in Canada, Casey. Uh, we're exploring some uh, creative options during this uh, uh, quarantine. Because as you know, the... Um, Film industry and TV has been basically, they threw a giant infected wrench into it and uh, it's kind of halted everything. But we think we found a loophole or a, a window has been left open, so to speak. So we're going to try to exploit that. And I'm not telling what it is. It's because it's our little secret. Um, I'm recording this now at 1 p.m. 30 minutes away from feeding the dogs. By the way, Mandy's doing great. Thanks for asking. Ah, uh, what else did I do this for? Oh yeah, I came up with this crazy idea yesterday. Just random idea for script. Because uh, I remember how much, here in Mexico, the senators and the House of Representatives, there's about 500 seats or something like that. And I remember at some point hearing how much they made per month, like just on a regular payment schedule. They make, Mexican politicians are some of the best paid politicians in the world. That's the disturbing part. And the thing is, if you really calculate how much they make in one paycheck, just one paycheck, you could literally control world hunger with just one paycheck a month out of a Mexican politician if you pull them all together. So coming up with an idea with that. Um, just, it was a random idea. And then all of a sudden, like a bunch of people on Facebook said it would be a fantastic movie. So maybe I'm gonna pursue that as a side project uh, uh, right now, following the other projects I have with my good friend, Casey. Um, 
What other things can I tell you? We had waffles today for breakfast. Fantastic. I'm using fantastic way too much. Ugh. I love doing that. Since I'm getting... I actually deflated a little bit. It is amazing how my face fluctuates between bloated and unbloated. It's mostly based on hydration, so I've heard. So, but the thing is, I'm always surprised and how it changes so drastically. But I like that whenever you get a little cheeky, you can do the Richard Nixon face and you just go <laughs> It's very funny to just see your face move. I'm a strange person. Uh, 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 yes, I'm, I'm, I'm like this normally. It's not because of the quarantine. I'm just that odd. Anyways, uh, other news. Oh, I had a really weird dream. Uh, it was, uh, all it's not weird the way you think it, it should be weird. Like, it's not me riding a dolphin through space and then uh, Santa Claus appears and he throws up a pizza and we have a pizza party with uh, the toys I had when I was five years old. That's a normal dream. That's what dreams should be. My dream, I think it's because I think up so much crazy stuff during my waking life that my dreams are substituted by excessively mundane things. So I dreamt last night that I was like younger. I was in about late 20s, I think. And I was working at a record store, a music store, a record store, whatever have you, in Los Angeles. Can't remember the name of the record store. It wasn't a real one. My brain came up with the name for it, actually. I always think it's cool when your brain does that. And <laughs> it was like my first day on the job. And it's one of those record stores that has way too many employees for the actual need it has. So there was like 20 people there. And they were all super nice. I think that was very nice of the dream. But for some reason, I was shaving my head. Well, not shaving, shaving, like like polished, bald. But, you know, just at a number two level. Like right there at the job. I was like shaving my hair. And then the machine stopped halfway. So I had like really short hair here. And then I just have what I have right now, so it was not necessarily a mullet, but I know why that was an element in the dream is because yesterday I thought about uh, my dog Sheba. She basically looks like a canine woolly mammoth, and the temperature here in Aguascalientes now is uh, around 85 to 90 degrees every day. So uh, I was thinking of giving her a, uh, a haircut, not a great one, but at least to take some of that heat off of the poor dog. Uh, so that's, so I know why that was in the dream, but I was in a record store and I was just working there and had a bunch of like props and memorabilia, kind of like Amoeba Records. I think that's a great example of what I was dreaming. Uh, and for some reason I had like an old late eighties white Datsun pickup truck as my car and the passenger seat would not close. I mean, the passenger door wouldn't close unless you really slammed it. And uh, I remember at the end of it is when it started getting weird because there was, like, I was just walking back from work. I didn't have the car this time for some reason. I was walking back from work and all the other employees were just like passed out or drunk or waking up from like whatever. Like, you know, apparently all of them were like college students. They're like, well, with the job so close to the university and stuff and instead of having to drive all the way back home or something, we'd just stay here and get hammered. And then we see that there's like this abandoned barracks, like underground barracks close to like the store and whatever the university was. It was like in a very pretty field. And it looks like an abandoned boarded up like subterranean, uh, like military thing. And you go there and it was like locked up. And like, hey, maybe we could stay here so we don't have to drive everywhere. So I knock on the door and this really old like lemony snicket type looking dude came out with like really long nails that were really dried up. Uh, and we were like very up forward about it. It was like, hey, uh, can we just uh, come in there and hang out? And the old dude was like, yeah, sure. And it was kind of creepy, but not too creepy. I felt weird in the dream because I came over to shake his hands, but you know, he had those really like wide dried up nails with splinters in them and I was just like, <laughs> and basically we all came into the abandoned subterranean barracks with this creepy old dude and then I woke up so it was just turning into a horror movie like it was a great setup for like 
a bunch of stupid teens or young adults going into a place that they shouldn't, and then I woke up. So yeah, uh, that's how every dream happens. Every to be continue, every dream I've had has a greater to be continued because I always wake up before I should, and I mean that in every dream. But anyways, I'm trying to keep this short because the other one went on for 20 minutes. But um, yeah, so uh, I'll just end it with how Mexico is dealing with this. We are currently uh, in uh, voluntary lockdown. So everybody's staying at home at will, but they're not prohibiting you to leave your premises. Case in point, if you see some pictures, there's a lot of people still out. And they just barely closed the bars here. Barely, like... And uh, our president's a moron. Apparently every president in the world is a moron right now. Uh, so, great job, politics. Uh, but yeah, we're in voluntary lockdown. Our parents are great. Uh, Mandy is great. She's eating like a champ. I'm really happy about that. And hopefully, here in Aguascalientes, we've only had three cases so far. Today, it appeared that there is uh, 25 suspected new ones, not confirmed yet. We're hoping it's just influenza or just massive allergies, which is very common here in Aguascalientes. We have some of the worst allergies in, this, in the whole country. So we're hoping it's just that. But anyways, uh, uh, take this time yourselves, people. You're going to be stuck in your houses with your family, which is great. But you're also going to be stuck in there with yourself and... <laughs> If you're anything like me, or like any other human, there's probably a lot of junk in your brain that you haven't really gone in there and uh, sorted out. So this is either a great opportunity to go insane or to uh, do some cranial uh, spring cleaning. So uh, maybe it's a good time to just uh, look inward a little bit. Not too much, because you know that's basically like staring into a black hole. So do it in short periods of time if you just go in wholeheartedly, I think you'll come out the other side all Jack Nicholson in The Shining type crap, so don't axe murder your family, please. Why? Because if you do it, then they're going to relate it to what I'm saying right now, and even though I had nothing to do with it, all of a sudden I'm implicated, and then they'll use me as the new scapegoat for violence inside of houses because of uh, cabin fever, and I'll be accused of instigating violence, and I'll be the new... Uh, scapegoat for it instead of video games, which I'd take gladly that bullet for video games because I think video games get a bad rap. It's been investigated, psychologically proven that video games do not make you do crazy shit. On the contrary, it keeps you from doing it, just like heavy metal does. Heavy metal makes people more calm and actually more well-rounded. So, you're welcome. Thanks to us video game playing metalheads, there is stability in the world. So, and anyways, I went on a rant there. Have a great Sunday, everybody. I'll see you Monday. Uh, stay safe. And check out Netflix. Do some reading. Try to do constructive shit, okay? There's a bunch of free online courses. Get some reading done yet, lazy bastards. You have plenty of time to read. Reading is good for you. Even if it's like really bad erotica or something. Just read. Get a new vocabulary in your... Get a new word in your vocabulary. It's always a good thing. The more words you have in different languages, including your own, the more, uh, the quicker your brain processes information. So technically, the more words you know, and more languages you know, the faster your processing speed is. So get to work, mis amigos. Anyways, bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Goodbye.